Hello, hello, my fellow online viewers. I want to tell everyone how much I love you. I love you all so much. I love, I love, I love, I love all of you. I don't like what's happening. I don't like what I see taking place. It makes me angry, makes me frustrated. Constitutional rights are being removed moment by moment. And we see a fumbling, bumbling blockhead in charge, supposedly in charge, being puppeteered by the ones holding the strings. Lies being spit every, t every single moment. You see all of this divide, which is in the plans, divide and separation. Because if people are unified, they might actually get something done. But if, we, if they can divide you, they can keep everyone in control. It started with the blacks versus the whites again. Let's bring this whole race thing up again. Well, that doesn't work. So let's bring the whole vax versus unvax situation up. Now let's bring up the whole right versus left again and politicize an illness which was put out here for control to begin with. And if you look at, if you, have you seen Fauci's emails? Have you seen that blockhead's emails? Have you seen that? Have you seen his emails? Man, oh man. That right there, those emails, <laughs> those emails condemn the guy. I mean, con just condemn him, throw, lock him away and throw away the key. Because it's damaging evidence right there in your face. And yet people ignore it. They just go, ah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna party and go about my life or whatever the heck people do. Because I got the shot, yay! You know, and then the so-called commander in chief who uh, has more sympathy for the Taliban, as Fox News said, than he does for the United States citizens and our rights, said, actually said back in December of 2020, no, I have no plans to force a shot on people. And now he says, I'm forcing it on people. No jab, no job, no way of life. And then I have people that I've seen that are calling in on the radio that I've heard, that I've seen online, that said their fr friends, their family, they're getting so sick from this thing, their medical department forced them to get it because they work as a nurse or they work as a healthcare worker, and they're getting so sick from this thing. I don't know personally. I don't know them. But they're getting so sick that they can't, they're sick as a dog, they say they can't sit up. I don't trust any of this. I don't trust it. And uh, personally, I thought we had, you know, more years before the Lord came. But who knows? It might be tomorrow. I don't know. At this point, it's starting to look like it could be sooner rather than later. But I never thought I'd see our own United States government, the United States, you know, do this. And people, people who, it's not a political thing. People say, well, people go, you're being political. Uh, don't be political. You know what? Politics now, politics is everything. Because those, those, uh, uh, I'm not, I can't say the words. Um, I don't want to say the words. I don't do that. Um, individuals. <laughs> those individuals are, are making our way of life. They're, they are running this show. They are creating our issues and our problems. They are in control. So when you say don't be political, how can you not be? Because it is everything to do with what's happening. And they are politicizing it themselves. This thing was created as a bioweapon, put out there, spread, and it was created to divide us depopulate, divide, and start start more of this mess. Anyone that can't see it doesn't have their eyes open. They don't have their they don't have their eyes open. They're blind. They're blind sheeple. And now the so called commander in chief gets up and says, anyone that goes against the, the, the laws that I'm creating right now, I'm gonna make it so difficult on you and I'm gonna oust you and get you out of power. Bottom line, getting the reps out. Getting the uh, the reds out of there, basically.
And I saw the night before, I saw the preliminary reports before the uh, election. <clears throat> Can't say that word. I saw the results before it. And what I saw was a, a red map. And then it just suddenly, oh, you know, oh, 120,000 votes come out of nowhere here. Oh, oh, 100,000 came out of nowhere here. Oh, uh, did you see that? The, on Don Lemon, whatever, on CNN, they said, he said that, the, the guys up there talking said, did you see that? Did you see that? That just changed, like, automatically. Huh, weird. That just changed to blue. No, it didn't. It was manipulated. But listen, listen. Regardless of who's in there, we should be coming together as people. More people should have their voices heard. More people should come together. and Because from what I see, more people feel the same way we do than what you would think. Don't be the silent majority. Don't be the silent majority. I mean, the majority is just silent. They act as though they're the minority pushing you aside. But just let your voices be heard. First of all, it takes six to seven years for a shot to be tested and approved. And then suddenly they just fast track this and just have it done. Yes, the previous administration did because they had no other choice, pretty much. They fast-tracked it in place but it was because they felt that that was the better thing to do from what was happening the situation but I saw Fauci's emails and I saw the news of him talking back and forth about basically enhancing this virus enhancing a virus found in bats enhancing it in the lab and testing it to see how they can manipulate it on people and they, did you see the situations in that lab? They had hundreds of, of rats, mice, I mean, hundreds of mice, hundreds of bats just around there. And then they were infected with that virus, the human-animal virus hybrid that they created. They had them on their hats. They were, and I don't get into the whole uh, late-night crap anymore as much because of what happened. But uh, if you saw John Stewart's interview with Stephen Colbert... Then you'll see you will see uh, him talk about about pretty much what what we feel. But my point is, you can't say no jab, no job. That's not American. And then if the, the shot's really working, then why the heck are you telling people we're going to protect you? We're going to protect those that didn't get the shot. I mean, my word. We're going to protect those who got the shot against those who didn't get the shot. That doesn't make sense if it worked. What are you worried about? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. For control, it does. I'm about unity and I'm about love. If you got the shot, so be it. If you didn't get the shot, fine. I just don't trust something put out here and then being forced on people like this. It's just too obvious that there's something else at play. Something very evil is at play. Of course, they look at us and go, what are the believers in the Lord? No, you know, what are the, they're, they're old news. He's going to show you. But anyway, if I do get it, I'm never saying it. I'm never going to say if I if if I if family members get it, I'm not going to say who did and who didn't. I mean, I'm not going to do that. It's your choice. But the point is American freedom is about choice. Pro choice, I, you know, <laughs> right? My body my choice is supposed to be a thing except when it applies to uh this type of thing. You know, I'm just tired of hearing about it. And I want unity. I want love. I want I want unity and love and unity, not hate and division. Watch Fox News and you'll see a lot of truth. That's the one they tell you not to watch. What they tell you not to watch, that's what you should watch because that's got the truth. But I'm tired of I'm tired of seeing people suffering like that. I'm just tired of that. All right, peace. Signing out. Much love.
I love you all. If I do, if I don't, you know, get it. I'm not going to say, but I'm just tired of the divide created by this. Peace, much love, signing out.